Hello everyone, just over a year ago Cubes for Speed sent me this haul along and I thought now would be a great time to take another look at it and see if my opinions are still the same. When I first got this cube I liked it a lot and used it as my main for a while. As other cubes came out though that corner twisted less but had similar performance, I pretty much stopped using this altogether. This didn't last forever though, as I did pick it back up and start using it as my main for feet solving, as well as using it as my main for blindfolded solving for some time. I have since moved on to different cubes for both of those events, but that doesn't mean that this one isn't as good as it was when it first came out. It's still just about as fast as when I got it, even with all the breaking in, and it still does corner twist too. I did 43 solves today, and it corner twisted twice just in those few solves I did. This is the cube that I used to solve behind my back while skiing backwards, and I used it for other skiing solves as well, because I know that it's going to perform well and not going to pop, but also it's not my main speed cube, so I don't mind if I get something inside of it. I also use this cube quite a bit for multiple blindfolded solves. Because I turn slower while I'm blindfolded, I can pretty much trust that it's not going to corner twist, and it hasn't happened to me yet, and I've done a bunch of blindfolded solves on it. So in my final conclusions, I can say that I think this cube is still relevant, although I may not recommend it to everyone because it does have a corner twisting problem. However, if you would like to get it, I definitely recommend checking it out at cubesforspeed.com. They've got the best prices and the fastest shipping, and just an all around a great store. Thank you so very much for watching. Goodbye.